Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNuts and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and we're still uh, going on with the Wine is Sacred quest. We need to join Anna Henrietta, the Duchess, at the guard post in the port district together with Damien, I presume. And, uh, well, she has a plan for us. I'm not really sure what that is, but I guess we're gonna find out in a minute. Because we uh, kind of arrived at the guard post right here. Hello, Ducal Guardsman. Can I enter? Hello, Good sir. Awaits inside. Yeah. Okay, then. Thank you. Hello. Here at last. We lack only Damien now. I'm worried something might have happened to him. I thought he traveled like a alongside you. Care of himself. Perhaps he can. But this Sintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed that ass, to steal though. ducal wine from under my guardsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Yeah, indeed. We already talked about that as well. Um, he could also be the middleman, but I don't think he would be. Still don't know this Sintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Yeah. Need to we find the sentry. Don't uh, we surely agree with that. For the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's what? coming. Okay. You're inside the city, so there's always somebody coming, probably. Oh, that sounded so much more dirty than I intended. Hello, Damien. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Sintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits and how do you us, know that? Not a small force, either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Okay, then. Not the first time. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? <laughs> now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered... Oh, sorry, Damien. ...we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Sintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. So not but that she laugh. She remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Sintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Sintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. The Mandragora, that sounds... evil. The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique. Consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Okay. Sounds like a fun place, though. So, uh, we need to grab the Sintrian, so Cecilia must be our best bat. Maybe Priscilla is there as well. Who knows? Gotta nab the Sintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men. Surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. If the Sintrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall How do. How can Geralt blend in with the crowd? Me, your grace. Geralt and I. 
In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Okay, there we go again. Appropriate attire. I still have the Nilfgaardian outfit from the beginning of the game, so... That might be... Andy, what, what, what was that? What, why did he turn the light off? I should um, double the patrols, just in case. Okay. Put on clothes, Anna Henrietta will consider appropriate for the soiree. Uh, my mistake before has always been that I kept my weapons on me, and I don't think that's appropriate. So let's try something here. Is that appropriate? It's not telling me it's appropriate. And it gives me another marker as well, so... In my fancy duds, I'll go to a cloth store, clothing store, so uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, shit. Um... We kind of got ambushed by bandits here. Oh shit, shit. I just died. So for once that I put on my fancy clothes, I get attacked by bandits. Seriously. So they were over there, so if that happens again, I'll be ready this time. There we go. Um, hello? You mad, mad at me or not? Seriously? Blah, 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 blah. No? Seriously? Apparently not. Suddenly it's not a problem, so uh, I'll head to the clothing store. And it looks like there's a store over here. Um, hello? Hello? Pierre? Sacre bleu! It's a crime! You're from the north, that's painfully clear. Excuse me? There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands open, please come in. Uh, I'm already inside, so uh, I'd like to try something oh, on. Just aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. That sounded weird. What's this? Elegant Beauclair doublet. Quite pricey, but well, quite as well. That's that. And then the boots. Yeah, elegant Beauclair boots. An elegant Beauclair trousers. So I'm gonna swap that out with the Nilfgaardian stuff that I still have. Not that I get that much from it. Get more from the armor, but I wanna dismantle that sometime. So I'm just gonna give him the Nilfgaardian stuff I have. There we go. And uh, well, we lost a bit of money again. But we'll get that back sooner or later. Thanks. I think that's all I need for now. Ever your servant, sir. Let's put on clothes. So there we go. Yeah, okay, so now we're good because the uh, the optional objective has disappeared. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys in Mountebank Alley for a nice party. So we're pretty much there. I'm just quickly going to use some of my ability points I still have left because I keep forgetting that. So we have two, I'm going to put those two into that uh, undying skill. There we go. Improve and improve. So that, if I equip that, that should actually make me invincible pretty much. But hey, let's go into the alley. Is she here or not? Anna Henrietta. Where are you, my Wait. lady? Uh, why does that not surprise me? Because she's the Duchess? Oh, look at those. 
those lamps, flying lamps. Maybe she's already inside somewhere. Well, well. I did not expect you to have such a sense of style. Of course we do. Not all bad. Nothing like a budding artist, of course, but... Just one other detail. Here, put it on. A mask. All who attend the Mandragora Soiree wear them. If you have one on, no one asks who you are. Okay, but why did he wear masks? Any idea why they wear masks? Probably it's to hide who Likely they are. because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. The truth is far simpler. This way, no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. Okay, let's go inside then. Let's go. Her Someone hair is completely started. different mm -hmm. again. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise, that's certain. Yes, because I'm very smart. Party! Party, party. How do you find this Intrian? Have you a plan? He is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. I think a lot of people in this Madame city Monsieur, would uh, extraordinary pleasure like to go inside with the, the Duchess. Tonight, Isn't that the I guy that was mad at us during the tourney? Your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Does he have an earring? Oh, that's so weird. What are these performances? Tell us about these performances. This evening. The Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. Shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth Yeah, we might use that to our advantage. Are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. That's not really interesting. We're looking for Cecilia, in fact. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm... I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. Okay. Kind of have an idea how orchids look oh, like, so... Wow. Well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. Wow. This place is belongs to none of them. pretty they big. There are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask. It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kaviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Okay. We do have a large area to look for. Take part in the soirees entertainments. Okay, there's a lot of optional things. It kind of looks like the wedding, in fact. So uh, I'm guessing we're going to be here a few episodes. So let's uh, start by taking part in this Warriors Entertainment. Be bold. Show us the artist in you. The paint boys. Cast them at the canvas. Discover your artistic soul. Uh, okay. Another soul. Uh, throw paintballs to express your inner artist. Sploosh! And sploosh! I'm an artist! And there we go. 
Oh, look at those. The painting They're clapping for us. Dualism. The continual battle between good and evil and defiance. Yeah, that's it. That's oh, certainly yes, it. That's him, all right. Good versus evil. The dualistic nature of man. And defiance. Uh, do we need to drink this? Yeah, Absolutely. let's drink. The preferred hooch of artists. Careful. It packs a pretty powerful punch. Uh, yes, indeed. Pretty powerful resistance. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Not drunk anymore. Ooh, it's this. Are they fake rope pulling? Away! That was stupid, but hey. Let's see what else we can find. Hmm. And those are the alcoves we need to search, but I'm quickly just gonna do a few of these uh Look at the mage. I believe he's casting spells. Ooh. Yeah, we'll see. The great Kalesti. Uh what else what can we do here? There's a lot of painters going on here. There seems to be a few thingies over here. Oh we can light these. Can we like this? Yeah, we can like this. Let's give it a try. Never suspected you believed in such thing. Ah, oh, how beautiful! Yeah, the let's uh. They say releasing brings good luck. Let's the put them all in the air. The man is a true artist. Ooh, impressive! Look at that. Fake dolphins. So I think we did all the uh, sites. Objectives. Whoa! So let's check out the alcoves for a woman with a Kaviri orchid in her hair. Another dolphin? Whee! Look at those. Oh, don't push me into the, into the water, Anna Henrietta. Ooh. Oh, another one? Whee! Dolphins! But hey, let's check this out. Fragment of the script of a stage play. Let's leave that there. So I think there was a woman in the other alcove. As for that stipend, I'm sure you understand. There are we wish to be alone. Please um Oh wait, wait, so this this loops around in the back as well, so there's more than one. Please leave. Okay. This is a alcove. Yes, indeed it is. So I think... Oh no. It's through that door then. Locked. Okay. So it's just three alcoves and are on either side then. There's just stuff in here. Woo! Uh... Thank you. Thank you for that. The Duchess doesn't seem to mind, so... Let's check out the other alcoves. It's not the middle one. Maybe the left one? Uh... Okay, sorry. Sorry for intruding. There's a naked woman in here. Oh, look at that. He has a beard. He could be the Centrion. Do not disturb! Shoo! Shoo! Mm -hmm. It's the right flower. Of course it is! A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to um, talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still! You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Okay, so now we're gonna have a conversation with a naked woman. Um, lovely portrait. Hmm, let me start off with a compliment. Maybe that will wow. ease her up a bit. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me? I... I've heard Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, uh, at one point the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but... Alas, ultimately refused my terms. 
What was the she matter? She should be naked, probably. When he learned I only ever paint nudes, he suffered all contact. <laughs> he said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her such a shame. I think... you may still get your chance. Hmm. I would love to be there for that. So, you Cecilia Bellante? We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But... why? Centrian Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Centrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid but you're not. Me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it. But I did see the nobleman. Really liked to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, masked. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame. Monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. Okay, we will. Take it easy, buddy. Okay. So now we need to go towards the refreshment tables and uh, find the Centrion. Uh, but we're going to have to do that in the next episode because I'm going to take a little break. So next time we're going to continue the party and uh, find the Centrion, hopefully. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.